welcome back this video and the upcoming ones we are going to focus on the front end part of our application i can say that the back end api creation is 99 percent done but in case you left something behind you go back and fix it otherwise let's get started on the front end all right so we are going to use bootstrap for styling and redox and most importantly we are going to use redox toolkit for our state management so in this video we are going to implement routing right that's the forms and other components so to speed up the process we are not going to spend much time on the components using bootstrap so for each component i will provide the component for you in the description so if you go to my github repository and let me show you how you're going to use the component that I've created for you. Then you search for YouTube tutorial project. Don't worry, I'll provide in the link description. And then we are working on the expenses tracker application. So click on that and then click on client. And on the client, let's click on SRC. And you can see that we have templates. And you're going to use these templates. For example, we are going to work on the home page component. All you need is click on that. And then copy the code and then use it in the in our project so first and first let's let's look at the final one so let's implement the home page like this one all right so first and first we're going to implement the routing so let's go back to our back end sorry our ter terminal here and then let's cd into the client folder that's a react and then let's install John add react <coughs> sorry router dom let's install it and then let's quickly structure our project okay so make sure that you are inside the client right inside the client so this one so for this client i'm going to create a couple of folders right so like I said, I have I have mine already here, my component. So what I need is that if I need it, I just open it and then copy and paste my preferred component. So let's structure our, our folder well. So here we are going to have component. So component means that a component that is reusable in your entire page. And I'm also going to have what is called pages, right? So pages represent one page at a time. And I will also need what is called hooks. Right, I'm going to create our custom hooks, custom functions, and let's add some SRC folder here. So if you look at the template, so don't worry, I'll come back to that. So I think, and you also need some utils folder, have our utility functions here in our project. So for now, we are going to work on these pages, <coughs> right? So first and first, let's create our home page page, right? Because it's not a component because it's not going to be used in the entire page. So let's come here, pages, and then let's create a folder, a file called home. And then in here, let's go back to our template here and scroll down here. We see we have home components. All you need is select all, all the text here and come to our home component and then paste it like that. Cool. So now we have one component that represents what a home page. And as you can see, let's look at the structure. There's nothing fancy going on here. Just some static data and some text. Okay. So if you look at here, all what you need is you are importing some image, and there is no image folder here. But the image folder is inside the template. So this one, all what you need is drag and place it inside SRC. Let's save it. And now we have closed the template and now we have image folders. As you can see, these are some images and SVG files. Okay, so you can use your custom images if you wish. Okay, so now I have one component being created. So let's go ahead and then create our router, right? So first thing let's go to the client make sure you're in the client and then src and then the app so as you can see here 
I have already trashed some of the default styling from from um, React when we store it. All right. So first thing, let's require the home component we have created. As you can see I have the auto import. Cool. So now here comes the routing. So first of all, let's import some couple of things from React Router DOM. So you import from React Router DOM. And first thing, I need browser router. And I will also need route. And I will also need what is called switch. So I'll explain as I proceed. So I believe you're familiar with this. Okay, so we are going to wrap the browser router with our component so that we're going to inject the props that this package has for us. So let's wrap everything inside browser router. So we can rename it, but I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's remove this one for now. And the next one is let's provide switch. So switch gonna help us to know which component we are currently or which component we want to render exactly. Okay. And then in here we bring in our route and this route takes our component to render and let's provide a name. So it's a path first. So a path, if you bring exact, it means that I'm going to, I'm going to this exact page. But this is home. Let's provide this as an slash, meaning home page. And then the component to render. And the component to render, remember, is called home. So let's save it. And then let's see. Let's go back to our project. Okay. Right now we are in client. So let's run a client only. You want to work on the client. So let's see what we have when this component get rendered. So let's hope for good news. For the first time, it takes a couple of time, but after it's finished, first time you see that it's going to be a little bit faster. Okay. So there you go. So you can see that we have our image and, but it's not static because we don't have bootstrap being installed, right? So let's go ahead, Google, and then let's search for Bootstrap. All right. So let's search for Bootstrap. And then we want to read the CDN. Okay. Click on this. And then Docs. And we need only the CSS. We don't need the JavaScript. So copy that. And then let's go back to our application. Where is it? And let's head over to SRC. Sorry, public index.html and then place it between your head tag save it and now let's see what we're gonna have let's refresh this, this one and now there we go we have our home page right cool so next thing is let's try to render the login and other components so i'm not going to spend my time on the component like I said, I've already provided for you. So let's quickly create our login component, login form. So SRC. So like I said, I have all the components being ready as you can see here. So inside the pages, right? And let's go to template. And then for pages, let's create subfolders for each, right? So for this one, let's create users, users. Sorry, users. Oh, sorry. Not this one. This, yeah, under users. And the users, let's drag the login components, right? So let's drag the login components into users and register components into users. And for now, let's work on the login and then register. So now we have this login and register. So let's go back to the app and let's try to render it. So let's come here up and then let's require the login component. 
as you can see i have the auto import and I also have the register component so if the auto import didn't work all what you need to do is go back to the folder click on the component and save again and now let's try to require the component here now as you can see it's working cool so first thing first let's work on the login so let's add one more component and let's call this one login and then let's bring in what login component and then next one gonna be our register component and we have here as register and then here gonna be register component and there we go so let's save it now let's go back to the front end and now let's navigate slash login and there we go now we have our form if you go to register and there we go we have a register so like i said for login component i've already prepared for you so you don't need to spend my time on the css and then bootstrap styling okay so this is the structure of it so what you're doing here is you provided some height vh i added my custom css as well you see provided a height of 100 vh and then here h1 and the most important thing you need to take note is that i have commented some sections right and even give you what it's doing so we are going to focus on the form part right you have the input for email this for login and input for password and then a button to click on to login okay so now that we have our log our login form and then the register form we are ready to log in from the front end so in the next video we are going to implement what is called redux toolkit to do the registration for us but until now i think we need to handle the forms first okay so in this video we are going to handle the forms with formic and then after we finish then we can integrate what is called redux